Hey guys, this is Mike here. In today's video, we are going to go through the steps of flashing uh, stock ROM, factory ROM back to your Google Pixel XL. So as you can see now, the um, Pixel XL is running with an H, in the H OS. Uh, but for those that actually wanted the stock experience, Pixel experience, you can always switch it back to Pixel XL stock ROM and it's a very direct process. I'll just guide you through a process step by step and you'll be back to the stock ROM in no time. Before you do all that, please make sure that you back up the data you need to back up so that it will still be there. And um, okay, let's just move on to the computer for the next the setup. But before you do that, of course, at the end of the day, you need to make sure that your um, you need to enable developer option. I have enabled it, so no need. So you can go to system, advanced, you see develop options. Then here you will need to make sure that you enable this Android debugging. So that you can connect. And of course, if you are on your lineage or your any custom ROM, my assumption is your boot loader is already unlocked and that, uh, unless you locked it back. If you locked it back, then you will need to re-enable this else you just leave it. So once you have all that done, you can connect to your computer. And um, there should be a pop up on the uh, allow, allows uh, when you cut out the phone to connect and stuff. You should always allow that so that it becomes a trusted device on your computer. So, for you to do your steps. So, once that is done, then just let's move on to the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, so in order for you to do a factory reset, the most direct way is to actually flash the entire phone using the Google factory image package to provide it. That is the most direct way, unless that way doesn't work. Then we might want to move on to the way where we do uh, manual flashing. So, but for now, this video, you focus into the simplest way possible for you to go back to your uh, stock factory settings. So, we'll just do the simplest way. So, before we can start, please type in ADB devices to make sure the device is connected. And if you don't have any ADB, you can actually download minimal ADB and fast boot, where I will leave a link on the description below for you to download. That is the lightest ADB package you can download and uh, it's useful and as you can see device is connected so what you want to do now is to boot to fast boot so you do an ADD reboot boot loader so once you are in boot loader mode you should see a fast boot screen on, over there on boot loader mode um, as I've said if you is this your first time or you have somehow rather relock your phone then uh, you need to do a fast boot flashing unlock and, any, and make sure they have enabled the settings on OEM unlocking so they need to unlock your phone again uh, but if you are on custom normal probably you want, you didn't unlock your phone but uh, somehow right if you did so this is the um, commands to use to unlock your phone itself and please bear in mind every time you do a look, unlock itself uh, they will basically do a factory settings reset where you clean up all the uh, data in your phone so yeah that's better in mind so once you're there you can do a fast boot of devices to ensure device is connected and like i said once the device is connected you need to navigate to your folder where you download the google factory image and extract it into a folder like this one is marlin p2qa so once you're in this folder itself you just need to run the flash all dot back and it will basically flash everything back to stop factory settings so from here itself you just do a flash all the plan and let's just wait for that to be completed okay it seems that we have uh, issues flashing it uh, flashing it using the normal flash all the band um, I can try doing that again Somehow, rather, I do feel that they have some problem with the uh, user data. Okay, so from what I read, so they were saying about a flash all dot pad, we will need to edit it. We know that and find the minus passport to view update. So remove the minus the view and see whether we can do the flash correctly. So for now, we will try to do another one, another round of flashing. So let's just try a Flash all dot that again and see whether we have that problem. So let's just do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. Then do a fast boot. 
kind of after that you will flash all uh, here we need to go back to your D F C D pixel cell C D uh here C D P Q something right and uh you can attach the view you attach all of that back so let's just try it again and see whether that helps us with the smooth flashing of the phone itself. Okay, it seems that now this time the flashing is completed without an error. So now we are done from here. So we will move on to the phone to actually check out the boot and to see whether everything boot up perfectly. So let's just move on to the phone. As you can see now, the phone is booted, it's booting up after the flash. So we'll just need to wait for the process to complete booting. Okay. Right. It seems to be yes. There's a there's a reboot that happens when it first started to boot up, and it actually do a cycle booting. So let's just wait for it to boot another round to see to make sure everything is okay. Uh, okay. Somehow, rather they have issues of corruption here. The data cannot run Android system. This one, do do a factory data reset again. Let's try to do it. Let's do a factory data reset. Yes, since we don't have any data. So they are formatting your data now. So hopefully that will help to solve your problem with the booting up. So once this the data get formatted, it should get uh, should get <laughs> rebooted again. So we will check it out after that. Okay, after the data is uh, formatted, so we are going in for another round of booting up. So let's just make sure that this time we can boot up correctly. Uh, I think one of the reason because we remove the minus W, and that doesn't actually format the uh, user data, so we managed to actually go through everything. Uh, but somehow, rather, we still need to format it after we flash the entire system, which is I think um, just a crucial step for you to do. So once, now I said once you have done with your system flashing without minus W, it will advisable for you to go and format your user data. Okay, as you can see now, right, we are going to do the standard uh, setup for your for your Google Pixel uh, Excel. So let's just take a look at this. Uh, like I said, once you format your user data, they will bring you back to the standard startup screen. So you can just do a start, escape, escape, continue, and do an X. Uh, uh, normally, I don't do this, so no, accept, escape. Escaped. Anyway, uh, so let's just hope everything is done now. So ultimately, uh, it looks okay for now. I think you have actually uh, flashed back to the factory system, uh, factory data, image, and stuff. So only one note: if you are using the automatic full flash and stuff, please make sure that you take off the master view so that you can enable the full flashing. And for the user data side, you can always go back to recovery and. Do the format data itself. So now, yes, you are back to the stock settings for your Google Pixel XL. If it's something that you like, you can actually take a look at it. Yeah, it's running on Android nine, and um, yep, about phone uh, system advanced. Uh, you can check whether there's any Android update and stuff. I don't have the uh, Wi-Fi connected. So yep, that's it. That's all for today, guys. So this is how you actually flash your. This wallpaper colors actually does match my case color, right? So anyway, um, yep, that's all for today, guys. So if you have issues, you can actually drop me a message. Else, um, that's all for today. Any comments, any question, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want more videos on. Different, different kind of device that I'm doing in terms of flashing and stuff. And the next one I'm looking at is to put in the Nature OS 15, flashing the F15 to my Nexus player. Let's see how it worked out. So that's all for today, guys. So I hope to see you again soon. Bye.